dependent on a number of things. What I will tell you this is, is it's like your thumbprint, okay? It's yours, right. you own this. Right. Um, if I swing a club, I'm gonna be a couple miles an hour faster. Right. But swinging faster doesn't mean I hit it further. Right. Uh, there's a, a lot of science that goes into this. But if you notice, there's a little difference between this club head speed and this club head speed. The one drawback to some and most launch monitors is they can only see the ball. Right. So from that, they back into and calculate a club speed. Right. We actually know the club speed because we measured that dot on the club. Right, right. So we know time and distance, we know exactly. So this is very accurate. So when somebody says, oh yeah, I was at uh, Dick's Sporting Goods and they said I swing 100 miles an hour and they're 80 here, we know something. Right, right. You know, th this is not a, this is accurate, okay? So here's your club head speed and your hand speed. Your hand speed is fairly consistent through all your swings, whether you're hitting a seven iron or a driver. Right. What's faster is the end of the club that you're swinging. Right. The further out, the faster it's moving. Uh, path is another thing we look at. If this is a positive number, it's inside out. And inside out means you're coming from your side of the ball, hitting at the ball. Okay. Outside in would be a negative number, and you'd be coming from outside the target line to strike your ball. Okay. 80 plus percent of the players swing outside in, and they open the face and they hit a, a, a cut shot or a slice. Okay. Uh, face angle, again, face angle being a plus means the face was slightly open. Yes. Air conditioning. Um, that being slightly open is a good thing. And uh, so those are actually pretty good numbers there. To me, that would be almost like a little bit of a draw, as you can see on the picture. And, and the white line is the straight line and the yellow is my shot? Yeah, the white line is Looks pretty good. target line. You started it to the right, which is perfect, right. and you curved it to the left. The reason for that is your path was more inside out. Now, most people think, oh, I have to have the face square to the target to hit it straight. Right. And that's totally wrong. Right. If you have an inside out path, you want the face closed to your path, but open to the target. To compensate, yeah. And that's yeah. the offset that gives you the draw. So those are perfect numbers right there. This up path means your club was moving upward during the swing. Right. And that's what you want during a driver. Okay. There's one other club that you want to swing up at. A wedge? Putter. Putter? Oh. Driver and putter, we want to hit the ball on the upswing. Everything else on the downswing. Okay. okay. Uh, loft, this is the effective loft of uh, what the uh, club was. This is the launch. This is the ball speed. This is the swing time. And this is the backspin. So, and there's your impact mark. Right. So we know all these things, and we're already good. Now, if I wanted to look, I could go back, and now here's your impact data alone. Right. I can see a number of different things, okay? I can see where on the face you hit it. That's pretty good there, isn't it? I I'm impressed. Look, I can look on top and show you where the path and the angles, uh, face angle are pointed. Right. And the yellow and the red. Uh, the green is where the face angle is, and it doubles as what the line angle of your golf club is. Right. So all those things are contained right here, and this is all the stuff we saw in the other chart. Right. This is more of a graphic. Right, chart. right. Now from here I can take that off. What I did find interesting with your swing was your setup. Okay. You have a very pronounced forward press, so what are you doing to the loft of your club if you hit it like that? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> if, if your hands are moving... Oh, you mean as an effect yes. of that? Oh. Yeah, the more forward your hands are, the less loft you're going to have. Okay. And that's why you hit a lower golf shot, probably. Okay. Now, I'll show you something which is a unique feature with the, with this tool. I'm going to show you somebody swing who you'll go, man, you're going to start telling all your friends, I swing just like this guy. This is Dustin Johnson with his driver. Okay. Notice where his hand position is versus yours at address. It's all vertical. But look at what he does at impact. Look familiar? Oh. So now you can tell all your friends, hey, don't make fun of my swing. I hit it like Dustin Johnson. Okay. So this is not something we would teach. It's not something that's going to give you optimum launch numbers. Yes. The reason it works for him is because he swings it so fast, so hard. And the reason, again, this is something, again, you'll be able to do with yours. If I look on top, 
I'm going to put some lines on his swing. Look at where your hips and knees are, and this is impact. Now look at his. You can see how much he blows his body, clears it out. So what, when that says hips are 7.4%. Degrees. Degrees. From being zero, zero being right here. And is zero not vertically or horizontal? Well, as I'm looking at it, it's, it's actually as if you're looking at a camera straight down. So this line here would be zero. This would be 10 degrees, 20 degrees, you know, 45, 90. And that's the moment of impact? That's the moment of impact. That he's almost 44. 56 and 55. Beyond 45 degrees. Oh, in, it's much beyond In that. terms of like that? Yes. Yes. On impact like that. Impact. The difference that I see between a very good amateur and a pro and a not as good an amateur and somebody with less ability, this is the number one area that I see different from player to player to player. Most guys can swing the club 100 miles an hour that play the game regularly. You know, younger guys can hit it 100 miles an hour, but their hips are turning less than 36 and they're hitting it to 60, 270. When I see other guys that are hitting it still at 100 and they're hitting it 270, 280. Okay. Because they have more legs and hips. So understanding the physical swing, right? This, this is an important component. As a PGA professional, I encourage people to use their legs more than less. Um, I teach youngsters how to use the legs right. more early. Some teachers want to just strong grip it and help them kids that way, and then they never learn to hit it straight with with less, you know, flipping of the club.